Hi guys, this is a video about ATT. We're doing it on uh, left WM, so a new tiling window manager that we're going to explore in the future. And we're talking about the fun stuff. What is fun stuff in Arclinks 3 tool? Terminal fun, actually. Control Alt E. We launch our tweet tool. The other video is about the mirrors, so have a look at that. This video is about the terminal fun, that's new. We have all kinds of switches we can on and just click here. And there's also something called lolcat, it's always the same. So that's very strange. When we type Control T, we get this. Oh my God, what do we have now? We have NeoFetch, the first one, screen fetch, which is similar, but with lolcat and that's lolcat coloring. That's all this coloring. And the other one is ALCI, which gives you a nice arch logo. And that's also good right but it's just a choice how would i like my next terminal how should it look my next terminal maybe i just get rid of neofetch and just keep the one control t now before we go all and then go over all of them i think it's always important to tell you where what happens to your machine where and what right this has everything to do with the bash rc so file open file in your home directory in my case slash home slash eric there's a bash rc and down here a zshrc shell one shell two bash is a shell zsh is a shell when we do control t we get that information somewhere in here shell bash I can switch to ZSH and as simple as I say it is as simple as you type it to ZSH. Enter and we are on ZSH. Log out, login to bash equally. Back to bash to bash, right? Enter and we're back to bash. This I can do stays the same, right? Changing shell for Eric. Now log out. So the information is at the end of your bash rc or your zshrc and you see here screen fetch is on and lolcat is on click lolcat is off in both of them we've put uh, the system is like that uh, program like that that it's gonna affect both of them so if you switch it's still gonna be the same so and on we go of course if you click here neo fetch let's reload yes NeoFetch and lolcat with it, you get this. If we say, okay, fine, let's get rid of this. How does screen fetch look? So now I'm going to go over everything, right? And you keep looking at this line here. We're on Bash RC actually, so let's keep an eye on Bash RC. Control T, looks nice, awesome. Now with lolcat, killing it, Control T each time when you reload the terminal, it will apply it, right? It will apply this line. Okay, you're out. I'll see you're up. Control T. Beautiful look, beautiful logo. Control T. All right, zigzagging, whatever. Yeah? If you like it, you like it, and you use it. Paleo fetch. Paleo fetch smaller how about with colors so lolcat is nothing more than coloring it's fun it actually kind of goes with the can the candy icons that we have so that's cool fetch come on fetch killing it always kill the terminal always open a new one how will it look when we apply lolcat to it oh even better right so that's why we call it terminal fun it is fun to play around with all these things. That's a nice look. Lolcat with it. Oops, sorry guys. Control T, not Control R. S fetch. They've always been there, but they've been forgotten, like forgotten gems, right? People don't go and look at Bash RC, ZSH RC. It's now just there, clickable. It's you know it now. It's ah oh yeah at the bottom. Okay, cool. So fine. You fetch. 
Oops, sorry. Super Q. I deleted the wrong guy here. So back to Ctrl Alt E. I click tweak tool, closed my tweak tool. And then we're back. So you fetch. We were with you fetch. Ctrl Alt T. That's a nice one. It's very small footprint indeed. Ctrl T. But this looks nicer. Or not. Choice, freedom. Ctrl T with lolcat. Ctrl T. And you see, you don't have really any say over the coloring because another Ctrl T will look like this. Another Ctrl T will look like this. Like it's at every single time, it's it's a random coloring, but it is nice. It's beautiful. And each time, you kind of surprise. Oh, looks nice. B fetch. Okay, lolcat. Okay, next one, next one, next one, right? Control Q, Super Q or Shift, Super Shift Q, and we kill things in Thailand when it matters. Sys info. Okay, use lolcat then. Mm -hmm. Sys info retro. It's actually the first version we've made with all these icons but these icons do not apply everywhere because of all the differences in terminals and that's why we made another one okay almost there guys cpf fetch whoops cpu fetch oh close the wrong one again cpu fetch so this one and lolcat activated again which means another control T. Now what we can't define is this thing here, right? We can't define the, oh, let's have a look if we have the correct thing here. Okay, we need still to go and have a look at our code because this is of course not correct. We can't have dual CPU fetch, it should be just the one. Well, check that out later. So if we quit here and quit here, and let's see what happens like this, this happens like that, that happens like this, that happens like that, that happens. That's normal. I don't know what went wrong, but everything is again normal. So relax, Surfy. <laughs> everything should be fine now. Control T. There you go. So. The guys who have AMD will have a uh, kind of greenish AMD logo. So we can't change these colors because they're predefined. Lolcat can't do anything with it, but this will be changed in coloring. So that's it for me. Have some fun. You can actually have this as well. Why not, right? Who needs all that? Maybe you just want to have a terminal and start typing. Me personally, I like some something small, right? Maybe, I don't know gonna be a daily kind of thing changing all this and that's gonna be fun if you have suggestions that you say Eric you could have added this one that one this one that one this one that one hey we are open for suggestions all right cheers have fun